look who's here, Haley Aaron, who's one outstanding younger actress in a drama series. So let me take you for a moment. So your name is called, you're sitting there, and what do you remember? Anything? Um, to be honest. Honest. <laughs> all I, I couldn't believe my name was coming out of Alex Trebek's mouth. I love Alex Trebek more than anything. I, uh, I watch Jeopardy every day, <laughs> and he's my hero. So that was just like the, really the cherry on top. Or actually, that was like the that's amazing. That was like the cupcake, and the Emmy is the cherry on top. That's how much I love Alex Trebek. And you must have been crushed when he announced how sick he was, then too. Then. I I think Alex is a fighter, and I'm just rooting for him. This is amazing, then that that happened this way. I can't believe it. He's honestly like. You know how they say don't meet your heroes? Like, Alex you Trebek is my hero. I, there isn't anyone else. It's him. Unbelievable. Yeah, so Unbelievable. this is just shocking. So you get the Emmy, and talk to me about this reel and why the scenes resonated with you that you put them in the competition. Yeah, I thought that, you know, Kiki had a really tough year. She was dealing with all of the, the Me Too storyline, and she was dealing with falling in love with her mother's ex-boyfriend, and you know, all the drama with her mom, and I just, I really, I felt so honored that General Hospital used Kiki to tell the Me Too storyline, so I included all of the, the courtroom Which scenes, was, yeah. and um, I just, I loved working with Matt and Mora, and I think we all had such good material together. It's such an honor, I, like, I can't believe this stuff. I love the scenes with you and Maura because it's like, you're always stealing my men. <laughs> are yeah, they, and it's are like, the younger men. Well, you're a, you're a bad mom. <laughs> <laughs> They're great scenes, though. Thank like, you, you two created that kind of chemistry. Uh, you know, Maura and I just get along so well. I love her to death. You haven't seen her yet, obviously. No, but I looked right at her and we were both like, when they called my name, so it was it was an amazing moment. We kind I don't know my I just naturally turned to her. It was she's like a mom to me. She's my second mom. And I was so. watching the monitor, and your friend Chloe was the first one jumping up and down, screaming. For I you. feel like that Chloe Which and I so have such a good relationship. Like she's the coolest chick. We've hung out literally every day this week, getting ready together, and I. We, we made a deal, and I'm obviously not going to keep the deal? the deal now, but we said if one of us won, we were going to break our Emmys apart and then throw it to the other person in the audience like it was Is that real. happening? No. Yeah, you know like when she gets the crown in Mean Girls? And you throw but it. But I feel like um, now that I know that the one that they handed me on stage, though, was like a dummy one, and this is the, the real, real one, one, now I wish I had broken it in half <laughs> because like, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> now you've gone on a success in Pretty Little Hours, The Perfectionist, and we're getting to see you there in that role. Yeah. Um, and this was kind of a, you knew you were going to leave GH, like you had made the decision, or how did that? No, it all happened, like, really naturally, I think. My contract was coming to the, an end. It was not immediate, but it was coming up really soon. And I had auditioned for the show. It was the first pilot I had gone on once I got my pilot out to do it in my last year. And I just happened to book this one show, and Frank let me out of my contract. And it was all very natural, and it was very, like, did you, did you know kind. The, yeah, did you know at the time they were going to, like, kill her off with the serial killer? I didn't know that. But I'm, <laughs> like, honestly happy. Frank called me up into his office and told me, and it was just very thoughtful. He, you know, it was for the story, and it was honestly a pleasure to be killed off because it feels like oh you you were an important you were a key yeah, part of the story this was an important part actor playing an important and role. you saw the scene where Mora's like wailing over the body that's do you know that's the last episode of general hospital that i've watched because it was too devastating i couldn't carry you couldn't on. watch it again yeah no, i'm not even like joking my grandma keeps telling me to watch the uh the funeral the and i won't sad do it too. you won't do it it's too sad congratulations this is Thank so you. wonderful and you know what i want to say it's a beautiful capper Right, a nice capper on your team. Amazing. I just, I loved being a part of this daytime community, and I hope you guys will keep me around. Uh, I'd like to keep coming to the parties and stuff. Yeah, you got to have her <laughs> back. She wants to party with you. Congratulations, Haley. Thank you. Thank you so much.